reading the preface to film slash genre by Rick Altman. This book began over two decades ago when I first came to the University of Iowa in the mid 1970s. I found a group of students that included future genre theorists and historians, Jim Collins, Jane Fuhrer, and Thomas Schatz. Together, we spent many happy hours critiquing popular American films, discussing how they work as aesthetic systems and debating the roles they play in American life. Our lively exchanges led to several books and articles on genre written by Collins, Fewer, and Schatz, and by others who taught or studied American film genres at Iowa in the late 70s and early 80s. Ed, ba Ed Boscombe, Mary Ann Doan, Thomas L. Saucer, Wes Gearing, Paul Hernardi, Hernardi, Henry Jenkins, Barb Klinger, Phil Rosen, and Alan Williams. Daily interaction with this talented group of genre theorists also introduced or also induced me to begin my own writing about genre. My work on genre was slow to mature, however, and not just because of my time in those days was spent or my work on genre was slow to mature, however, and not just because most of my time in those days was spent on French film and medieval narrative. Before I could feel comfortable writing about specific American film genres, I felt a need to think broadly about the theoretical underpinnings of genre. This concern eventually led to a cinema journal article titled, quote, a, a semantic slash syntactic approach to genre, end quote, 1984, which tried to bring clarity and structure to generic textual analysis and history, and which is reproduced as an appendix to the present book. This line of reasoning was followed up in the theoretical chapters 1, 5, and 9 of the American Film Musical, 1987. In one sense, that entire book was a demonstration of the methods and theory outlined in the, in the 1984 article. Since that time, I have had the satisfaction of seeing the, quote, semantic slash syntactic approach, end quote, adopted by colleagues and students working on a wide range of problems. Nevertheless, the present book grows directly out of misgivings regarding the theoretical foundations of my earlier work. We are often our own best critics, but only rarely do we let up let our hesitation surface and do the critical work of which they are capable. For years, I fought off my own doubts, but eventually started taking them seriously. The result is the semantic slash syntactic slash pragmatic theory presented in this book, which began to take shape in 1994. Not until the drafting of the later chapters, however, did I begin to realize that my relatively focused reflections on American film genre had turned into a broader theory of communication in the modern world. I have worked hard to make this a readable book that will concentrate attention on important enduring problems. Where possible, I have endeavored to lighten the theoretical burden. Some readers may find that I have oversimplified complex problems, but I remain committed to the notion that 
in accessible style empowers readers and encourages them to do their own theorizing. I have also labored to lighten the scholarly apparatus. Parenthetical citations replace traditional notes. Where the reference is obvious, I have even dispensed with a separate citation. While this approach encourages neither direct dialogue with other scholars nor full documentation of competing points of view, it has the virtue of concentrating attention on the argument at hand as a further device to pinpoint problems and positions I have provided regular summaries of hypotheses and conclusions. The thesis the theses presented in film slash genre were worked out in a number of places and help and with the help of many people. I owe a debt of gratitude to those who invited me to present parts of this material at the University of California at Irvine Center for Advanced Studies. The annual meeting the annual meeting of the Association Quebecois de Etudes Cinematographiques in Montreal the University of California at Los Angeles, the Chicago Film Seminar, and the Universities of Copenhagen, Bergen, and Trondheim, as well as those who encouraged me to publish earlier versions and related texts in Cinema Journal, Iris, the Oxford University of World Cinema, Refiguring American Film Genres, History and Theory, and Storia del Cinema. For their support, I want to especially, or for their support, I want especially to thank Nick Brown, Gian Piero, Brunetta, Alain Lacase, Andrew Lock, or Andrew Lockett, Jeffrey Noel Smith, Lauren. Rabin Novitz and my students at the University of Iowa. Thanks are also due to my father, Frederick J. Altman, for taking time out from his patent applications to help me prune gallicisms and trim solecisms or solosisms. Special thanks to my wife. Janet Gherkin Altman for her continued support. And I was reading the preface to film slash genre by Rick Altman.